Welcome to the land of tomorrow. Terra Futura is a tabletop game in which you build self-sufficient economy and try to score more victory points than your opponent. It plays with up to 5 players. Each player is gradually building their own territory, ending with the grid of 3x3 three three cards. You will activate effects on newly placed cards along with the cards in the same row and column. This will lead to acquiring and exchanging resources, which you always store on the cards that made them. Some actions unfortunately lead to creating pollution. Some cards can absorb pollution without causing any negative effect on the card. If you don't have a space like this available, place Pollution Cube on any card. This card is now blocked for future use and you cannot access resources stored on the card. To set up the game, sort out resources and divide cards by their backs. Each player is dealt a starting card, which they place in front of them, a reference card and two random scoring cards. Lay out four cards from each level in the middle of the table. Players take turns in a clockwise manner. On your turn, follow these steps. You may choose to discard the last card in one row of the display. Now choose any of the face-up cards in the display or top of the deck. Place this card in your territory, so it does not exceed the 3x3 card grid. Now it is time to activate placed card along with every other card in the same row and column. Then it's the next player's turn. The game continues like this until all players have completed their territory of 3x3 cards. Let's have a look at various cards effects you might see in the game. These cards provide you with a specific raw material. Another type is exchange. Pay resources on the left and gain reward on the right. This way you might get a pollution cube, which you must place anywhere in your territory. Some cards provide you with a choice between two effects. When activating the card, choose only one of them. Purification Plant offers special action of moving up to four pollution cubes onto the card. And finally, the starting card offers three choices when being activated. Gain any raw material, a money token or assistance action. It lets you copy the bottom effect on a card owned by another player. As a compensation, they received one resource from your payment. When your territory is completely built, have a look at your two scoring cards and choose one pattern for the final activation and activate your cards accordingly. Then choose one scoring set from any of your scoring cards, which you can fulfill multiple times if you have enough resources. Also get points for your acquired resources according to the reference card. Ignore resources blocked by pollution. Don't forget to deduct one victory point for each card with at least one pollution on it. The player with the most victory points is the winner. In case of a tie, the player with the lower number of pollution cubes wins. And that is how you play Terra Futura.